Now, very good morning and uh, Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. And today we go before we go ahead with this 201st day of your body blessing, we'll have a look at this link above which takes you towards yoga asans, diet and uh, also with flexibility and sleep patterns. Have a look at this and you can help out many other people and share this knowledge with them. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. What does Baba have to say today? We can complain to God that God give me this, uh, give me this attainment, give me that attainment. Give me peace, give me love, give me happiness. But God says, once you understand who I am and who you are, you cannot have any more faryad. Faryad means having any form of request to God. So, Baba says, make it easy. A child of a parent doesn't have to ask his parent or beg his parent for anything. Similarly, over here, we have to feel like we are his children. So, let's understand what Baba has to say over here. In today's blessing, Baba says, may you transform complaints, faryad, into remembrance, means yad, and become a natural and constant yogi. Yogi is somebody who is in constant touch or remembrance. Yog means to remember. Yogi of who? Of God the Father. So, let's get into the explanation part over here. Baba says, the speciality of the Confluence Age is that you make effort now and instantly receive its fruit. You remember God and instantly you feel peace and love and happiness, instant. Once we forget Him, that's the time we start feeling all the negativity. We start seeing negativity around us. We start feeling as if we are cursed or we can't do so many things in life. We can't move ahead. And when we remember God, this peace, this happiness and the intellect becomes widened. The mind becomes more powerful and positive with energy. It's a physical energy is very different. You see, there's a difference between this physical energy and the spiritual energy. It's a good feeling of being inside rather than having anything outside. So even if you don't have things outside, you still feel as if you have everything in the world. So that is the feeling which God wants us to have. So Baba says, one minute you are an embodiment of remembrance and you immediately experience attainment. The future is guaranteed. Once you get to know this knowledge, once you get to know Supreme Father and how the cycle turns and when the Supreme Father comes down and and finishes Kalyuk and starts Satyuk. Once we understand that and the method to transition from Kalyuk to Satyuk, once we understand that, that we need to have virtues and values and qualities in us as souls, we have to become complete with qualities. No lust, no anger, no greed, no attachment because all these negativities won't allow us to transition into the golden age. So once we have these purity and this powerful values, only then can we transition into heaven on earth. So, God says that is a condition apply to get into heaven on earth, not up there. That is the supreme abode where we souls have come from. That is a different place for the souls to, res to reside. Many people think that that is heaven. God says that is not heaven. That is where you live in silence without a body. So, God says once you go back there, then you have to come down and that earth which you are living in right now is Kaluk transitions after its destruction means transformation. Not exactly a destruction, destruction, but it transforms so energy transforms from one form to another so earth is right now every element is dirty impure it transforms into pure after a great war third world war so god says the speciality of confluence age is that you make effort now and instantly receive his fruit one minute you are an embodiment of remembrance and you immediately experience attainment immediately the future is guaranteed for us to go into the golden age but even more elevated than the future is the elevated present fortune because right now we understand God who He is. When we go into the golden age, we forget. Because we, when we come down, we forget who God is. We don't need to remember because we are in heaven. In heaven there is there's no pain, no suffering. There is no dearth of anything. Everything is available in plenty to everybody. So you don't need to remember God. That's why it is said that people remember God in dukkha or in pain and suffering. When there is happiness, nobody remembers Him. <clears throat> so that happiness is not the instant or the small moments of happiness in Kali <clears throat> that happiness is the happiness which we receive in the golden age or the pre or the future heaven on earth so that is what God is talking about you don't need to remember me then because you're in happiness so Baba says maintain the intoxication of this fortune that you can remember God instantly be in yoga with him and instant peace instant power instant happiness all the doubts are removed <clears throat> they happen instantly sorry 
and they don't need to be attained after death many people think that once i leave this body i have done so much of hard work in remembering the shlokas the shastras and everything and now once i leave my body i'll attain god god says no while being in this body you have to attain god because once you leave this body you cannot see you cannot hear you cannot listen you cannot speak so experiencing god is done while being in the body not outside the body so baba says where there is remembrance there cannot be complaints once we remember god we cannot be complaining that i don't have peace i don't have love i don't have happiness i don't have bliss in my life sorry i don't feel powerful no when you are in remembrance of god everything is there but once we forget him everything is gone so then baba says where there is remembrance there cannot be complaints there what can i do complaints like what what can i do how can i do this i cannot do this give me some help god give me some power give me some understanding give me some help please remove these obstacles from my life no god says once you have the remembrance your mind becomes peaceful you become more powerful you know which values which qualities to use what is the right decision what is the wrong decision and then all those obstacles are just crossed easily naturally that's what it means to remember god and attain all success in life so these are complaints so stop complaining and become a natural and constant yogi god says stop complaining stop being a child now grow up stop saying that how can i remember you i forget you i got so much of work i have to take care of my house i have to take care of my children i have to take care of my family god says sorry those are all complaints complaints will won't make you complete so remember me and you won't have any complaints so it's a opposite way of thinking over here like reverse psychology so baba says to this and you'll be happy forever so i leave you with this beautiful vardhan let's stop complaining let's start stop saying i can't do this i can't do that because god if you would have given me this facility or a different family or not so many problems in my life god says i have not given you those problems you have created those problems because of your karmas now remove them improve them by my remembrance so have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti